Hello and welcome to Sam Fan Four Films. Today I am have three custom minifigures from the video game Call of Duty Black Ops 2. It is a favorite of many and a favorite of mine. Two are from the multiplayer and one is from the campaign. I think they all look really great and they are some of the favorites that I made and I hope that um, they're your favorite too. So let's get right into the first one. So this first guy is whatever skin is whenever you use a sniper rifle, the skin that uh, you are wearing for it. The classic hood, uh, you can definitely tell this is one awesome minifigure. He also has a custom sniper rifle that I made, which I will show you how to build. But first, let's get into the minifigure. For the hood, it's just a typical Jedi hood that you can find. The torso is just um, from a Rebel Commando in Endor. The pants are orange, and the buckle is found on um, super secret police from Lego movie sets. And I just sharpied in to make some camo for those pants that they use. And the head is from the Rebel, is from the Imperial Viewing set, and I just sharpied in the bottom to blend it in a little bit more. And uh, I think it looks very good. And on the back side, the, I put a shotgun there, and the way I did that was I used a, three pieces, really four. I have a little thing and a clip you can put onto it, so you can put it onto the back. And the shotgun is just an alien rifle with some binoculars stuck to it. And so, you can just stick that onto the back, and then just put it onto the back of the minifigure so you can have a secondary weapon. Now, the sniper rifle is very simple, even though it looks pretty complex. And there, we're done with the sniper rifle. Sweet, huh? Now, the second guy is just a typical multiplayer skin that you will wear whenever you have a different gun. Um, he's pretty simple, even though he looks complex again. And um, some parts on him are Lego, some are not. So you might have to go out and buy some extra stuff. So for the body, the helmet is actually not Lego. It is a Kubros thing, so you're going to have to go buy that. The head is Lego and is um, Zev from the Lego Star Wars. And the um, vest is from a light custom LEGO ODST. And the pants are again from LEGO Super Secret Police from the LEGO movie. And when you take the vest off, you'll see the whole body is really the Super Secret Police from the LEGO movie. And the only way to get that vest is from stores. And the same thing, I have the clip that you just pick onto the back. And the shotgun is from Brick Arms. I think it looks really good in that silver color also. And that's that. Oh, and also, the LMG is also just from Brick Arms. M60. And this last guy is Harper from the campaign. But he can also be a multiplayer guy if you wanted. I made a. He doesn't have a back, but he has a sweet gun. And the hair is just a simple brown hair. And I really like that I used Boba Fett's face because it really brings out some of those uh, scratches on him. Really tough. And then this jewel is from Belloc from the Indiana Jones Temple Escape set. The vest is also another custom thing that people make. And then the pants I used for Mad Max which are from Space Police sets. And the two guns I have for the rifle, just a little hand clip on the bottom of it, and then a little submachine gun where I just have a clip-on bit, a little hand, a little a little gun piece, and then the same clip that I used for the rifle. And I really think it worked well. So there you have it, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and you'll be happy to know that my next um, custom minifigure will be a variation on a current minifigure that is already out. See you guys.